today I'm going to show you how you can create your very own animation in Blender version 4.2.1 with Armature. So I'm going to show you exactly how you can create a simple animation like this. And if we were to go into pose mode and go to x-ray, you can see we have all our bones right here. I'm going to show you exactly how to connect it to your model, your character, your mesh, and then you can go ahead and extrapolate this to whatever character you're trying to design. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So here we are in Blender version 4.2.1 as going to be the updated version on how to create the animation using Armature. So first off, let me show you some of my settings. So go over to the edit and preferences. And if you have a laptop, make sure you have emulate numpad selected. But obviously if you have a desktop with mouse and numpad, it'll be a little different. But now you can see if I press the one button, we have the front view and a bunch of different views, but I'm mainly gonna stick with one here. And now let's press one, select the cube here, type G. Also I do have my screencast keys here as you can see, but let me hit escape real quick. So whatever I type, you can see this right there. So just in case you uh, miss some step. So I'm press G, then we're gonna do Z and I'm gonna say 2.5 and that pretty much gets our guy aka this is cube man our model for today that we're gonna add armature above like this press one again now we can copy this we can press shift D and then you press G and then X and that moves it over like this and then we can press S to scale it and if you want to scale it for example let's do Z this will shrink the arm like this. And then if you change the view here, scale it on the Y, just like this. And you can see we have an arm. And again, this is gonna be very simple. And we're gonna redo this by doing Shift D again. Now we have another piece. Then we're gonna press R, 90. This is gonna be our leg. Click and then press G. Go right here, select it. S to scale X and shrink it down like this change the angle if you want to but I think his leg looks pretty good there and now again since this is a very simple mesh we're just gonna pretty much mirror this across the cubes of the center here if you do have a more complicated mesh with a lot more polygons vertices ideally what you'd want to do is split it in half and then mirror that way because uh, if you have like fingers and toes, like you, you won't be, it's gonna be very complicated. But again, for simplicity's sake, just showing you armature, we're gonna do this. We're gonna select Mr. Arm here, and then we're gonna click onto the modifiers tab, which is this little like wrench icon. And this is the difference with the old version I had on my channel beforehand. But basically, the way you can see it now, it's simply add modifier here. And then if you go down, you can see here to generate, and there's this effect here called a mirror. So now you have to select the object that you want to mirror across, which will be the cube. And this is mirroring it across the X axis, which you can see here. If I do Y and take that off, you won't be able to see it. And if I do Z, nothing really happens here. So you make sure it's on the X and then rinse here again, click on the leg, add the modifier, generate, mirror, Select here, click, boom. Okay. Now we have Mr. Cube Man here, but the problem is that we need to select all of these first. And if I were to show you, for example, if I click here, if I click on like this arm, the transforms are all messed up here. Same here. And then they're not zeroed out, which we need to because when you start to uh, create the armature, the positions have to be zeroed out or else it's going to look, it's just going to mess you up. So basically, select all of the character cube man and then we're gonna press command a and we're gonna go all transform apply select this and now when I select the arms for example they're all zeroed out here the legs zeroed out by the location you can see everything here perfect okay now and now let's we'll select the cube man first then press shift select the arms and then shift the legs and now when you press command J you can see it is all nice together grouped as one perfect 
So now what I'm gonna do is we need to first add in some loop cuts. So let me go ahead and go into edit mode. And since it's mirrored, it's only gonna be showing this half. So if I were to go here and I do, again, when I do command, that could be also mean control on Windows. So if on Mac is command, but also control. So now command R or control R. And then we can add some loop cuts. Now, let me go back to one view. This essentially, let me go like this. It looks like my legs and my arms might be a little too close. So let me see if I can um, bring this down a little bit. Yeah, let me bring that down a little bit just because in case it's too close, it could have some issues in the uh, armature. But now it looks pretty good. Okay, so now tie back into edit mode here. And uh, let's just click on one of these. And we're gonna do Command R, Control R again now, loop cuts. And you can add in as many as you want. Let me just type in number 10 for now. And pretty much depending on the simplicity of your design will determine if your mesh is like this. Now, one thing you want to check to make sure before you continue is that the mesh has been loop cut properly because sometimes if you do too much or if you just do something wrong, the meshes will like overlap and it ruins your entire design. So like now you can see everything's connected directly to each vertice here. And I'm just checking again, just in case, because I've had issues before, where if it's not properly meshed, then you're just gonna have like this weird overlap and it's gonna be really annoying to deal with. So now let's do the same thing with the uh, the leg. Click on any of the vertices, Control R, Command R again, move into the center here. Let's just do 10 here. Click, hit escape, and let me just check. Okay, yeah, it looks like checking in and it looks like everything is looking the way I want it to. Perfect, so now, press tab or just go back to object mode here. Let's go to, we'll keep it in x-ray mode, but just in case you understand, we're like this view. So back in x-ray mode. Now let us create the armature. So let's do shift A and then go down here to armature. So I'm gonna go G, Z, move this man right here. This is gonna be like the spine area. And now all we need to do is, let me actually shrink this. Let me press S, bring it down like that. And again, simple uh, armature, so it's not gonna be too crazy, but I wanna click, first of all, we gotta go to edit mode, and then we need to press the E. We'll, we'll make sure you select this top little uh, circle first. Then you can press E and extrude it and put it to like where the uh, shoulder area would be for this guy, which is right there. Let me zoom out a little bit. Press E again, and make like a little bit tiny. Uh, actually, for doing this, it's gonna be hard to see, but like on the top view, you kind of want it like a little bit bent. But it, again, since this is a square uh, armature, I mean, I mean, it really, or I mean to say, the square mesh, it really doesn't matter. But like, if you have like a human, you kind of want to have like a slight bend in the elbow. But like, since his arm is literally straight, I'm not gonna do it for that. But basically, what I'm trying to say is, you, if you do have like a natural human bone or arm, I should say try to match the natural like default resting position and then click again and E put it right there okay and now so one thing here so let's check this, check this out so if I were to click here I want to move I'm gonna extend one down here I have like a little tailbone this would be like the the leg stuff so what, what's interesting here is if, if I go to the bone section and I click on relationship it, it doesn't say apparent to the, this, which is the, let me name this uh, spy for you to see. So like for this one, the arms are all parented to the next bone and this one's connected to the spine. But when I click on this bone, it's not. So what you need to do is select this little tailbone I made here, shift select the spine, the bone you want to parent it to. And why I'm doing this is because this essentially is like the main control bone. So whenever I move this, the entire mesh will move. And you can do a control P or command P and then make a parent to keep offset. So now click here, it's connected to the spine. So if I were to continue this, so I'll click like, uh, like down here, we'll extrude it. This would be like the hip. This can be like the knee. And it's gonna be like the knee right here. Before we uh, mirror this, I wanna go into pose mode and I wanna just validate that this does exactly what I want. So you can see here, it's moving all of the bones in unison together. So if something isn't moving, like if you move, let me try to move this. See how this one doesn't move everything because it's not, these aren't parented to these, this one. It's, 
is this is the main bone how everything moving so now if I click here I rotate it everything is moving the way I want it to and looks good here so if you're not if you're at this point and it doesn't do like what like what it should be naturally doing then that means you missed a step or you clicked something wrong or you just didn't parent the relationship isn't connected properly to the right bones so if anything like here looks pretty good so let's go back here to object mode select a and this is the thing we need to do first before we recreate we're not going to do this manually we're actually going not going to even do mirror it we're going to do something else so let me go over here you can see begin by clicking on whatever bone here let's click on the arm and this make sure you're on this bone icon right here and we need to name this whatever you want to name it so i'm gonna say this is lower arm dot r now ideally this is technically the left side but it doesn't really matter if this is the right side like this is the face facing you then this would be your left but if like if i show like this size the face then this would be the right again it really doesn't matter too much right now but as long as you do dot l or dot r depending on what size so let's go here i'll call this uh upper arm dot r and then here i can call this like uh shorter dot r spine's fine tailbone i'll just leave it like this for now but definitely name all your bones for um organization wise tutorial sake don't really need to but uh here we call this like the i guess i can say this like hip dot r this can be the upper leg so i'll say upper leg dot r and this can be the lower leg dot r so you get the point what i'm trying to show you here so now what happens is when you select all of it then you right click it and you hit symmetrize boom look at this we got robot just kidding we got the bones now let's go to pose mode click on spine man right here double check everything everything's moving like we wanted to there's no issues and looks like so far the bones are doing what they need to do so the next step is we just need to connect this to our so go back to x-ray mode here once we're back in object mode select the mess first and then now hit shift and select the armature and then do command p or control p and now set the parent to here we at armature to form go to automatic with weights and now if we select the armature now go to pose mode click on this look we got movement okay and let's keep looking we got movement and you can see here if i change it to like this, this is what it looks like and so this is why i was making sure all those miniature steps beforehand so like this one kind of messes up the cube here you can see that which again we can fix that later but for right now this is what i really wanted to see we got this right here this right here the legs are moving the way i wanted to if i press g everything moves perfectly and boom now we can start animating this so go up here this is our keypad now we can change this setting so like uh go to the uh output tab and we can change this to like uh 20 and and now that's like super super quick actually let's do maybe because it's 24 frames which would be like per second so we can do 24 that'd be one second so now if i click on this and let's say i move actually no i gotta be back in pose mode what am i doing hold on yeah click here boom boom and let's do rotate him let's try to make him do like some sort of jumping jacks and then then we can go like this this and uh before i did that actually what i want to do is keep it let me command z the user control z out i want to start an initial this to be the base let's press a select it all and just press i and this sets a keyframe so now we can go ahead like maybe let's do eight let's move them up like this here boom put your hands up in the air like you don't care put some leg action here and it's rinse and repeat select all of them by pressing a hit the i key and now for the 16 we can do maybe uh 
I mean, in theory, we could just do this and repeat it, but let's make it like even a little bit more. Maybe for this, we can press G and move them up a little bit and then add a little bit more like micro animations to the legs. Nothing too crazy like this. And then like that, press A, I, and then we can just click on this one, copy and paste, uh, oh my, command Z, my bad. Make sure we paste it here. So now if we check the animation, boom, just like that. Now, you know, obviously it's not perfect, but I mean, oh, you can always go ahead and fix that later, tweak it up if you want to. But now, if we go to our mans, he's doing a little wavy wave, shaking his hands up like he don't care. And that is pretty much how to create a super simple armature and animate your character in Blender version 4.2.1. So if you do enjoy this, hit that like button, comment down below any other videos you want to see. See you in the next one.